Update 7 is here and it's brought a new tech tree line. That's right, they're British lights. And we're going to look at each and every one of them, starting with this one, the FV301. The Tier 8 British light. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And yes, they're finally here, the new British light tech tree. And it starts with this one, the FV301, the Tier 8 British Light. This is it in armor inspection. As you can see, it's pretty paper thin. What happens if I stick it up against a Tier 8 Heavy, namely the Tiger 2? Well, as you can see there, it will have the ability to bounce on occasion, but it's a light tank, guys. So the armor on this thing is relatively thin, but it has some tricks up its sleeve. Looking at the stats, you can see there it's damaged. Isn't exactly brilliant, but I'll tell you what, it's got a really nice rate of fire. It may not seem a lot, but for churning out 190 average H, average alpha with 13 rounds a minute, that's pretty good. But look at that penetration, 237, not bad at all. Armor, well, the armor, as you saw, is a bit meh, but the speed is fantastic. Looking at the more detailed stats... You can see it's got uh, 1,272 hit points, and it's the frontal armor on the turret that really boosts that up. It's got a pretty decent view range, and it's a light tank, so it's got good camo and concealment. DPM is 2,486, which is really nice, with a reload time of just shy of 5 seconds. Penetration is what really gives this beastie some good advantage, with 237 on its main AP, 271 on its APCR, and 46 on its HE. As you can see there, damage, well, you're going to be knocking out 190 on your AP, 160 APCR, and up to 250 on your HE. Aim time, 3 seconds. Gun depression wise, 10 degrees. Really helpful. And look at this speed 62 forwards, 20 backwards, with an average of 44. Well, this is my normal loadout when I look at the equipment. Uh, obviously, you don't have to follow this, but this is what I go with, and it seems to work the trick for me. Provision-wise, well, I just want the crew and the engine to be maximum performance, so I generally load that. When it comes to consumables, again, I'm just looking for that extra bit of boost, that repair time, and that reload time. So, what's the tank like to play? Well, let's say straight from the off, I love this tank. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful tank. And the best thing is, it's free. It's a tech tree. You don't have to spend any gold. It's not in a container. It's not in a crate. You don't have to do an event. It is free if you've got the XP. And boy, are you getting a fantastic tier 8 that is pretty unique to boot. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, the gun is super, super duper accurate. Stick it all down like this and boy, you're going to have a great time. I mean, this is me rolling out on, my, on the press account in Asia yesterday when it first came out. And I just couldn't stop playing it. I mean, I think this tank is absolutely fantastic. It is just amazing. It's not broken. It's not OP. It's not any of those things. Uh, it, you know, in the wrong hands, you're going to get wasted. If you're a good lights player, and I admit I am not a good lights player, then boy, the damage you can do on the battlefield in this thing is amazing. Would I say it's noob friendly? Well, yes and no. I mean, the reason I say that, it's, it's a lot more noob friendly than, say, the VK-28 or the LTTB. The reason for that, that gun depression. I mean, if you can take this thing all down and you have the mindset to run around the battlefield and put yourself in great positions, then this is a tank that you are going to fall in love with. I mean... I absolutely love it, and as I said, I am not the best lights player out there, but the thing I love about it, I mean, it's got a fantastic gun, it's got a great reload, it's got amazing mobility, I mean, it's just brilliant, okay, I'm on the Asian server, and for some reason they like to get up close and personal, your teammates, but hey, these things happen. Unfortunately, I, don't, I die in this game, uh, mainly because the ping yesterday on the Asian server was absolutely horrendous. I mean, ping spikes were huge. I was rolling around here, and then I suddenly get a ping spike. <laughs> um, trying to get back, but I didn't, and I died, and it was the end of that game. But it doesn't matter, because I got a nice second class. It did 3,159 damage, and boy, I had a great time doing it. 
but I wasn't despondent and I rolled out again. This time, here we go on uh, Yamato Harbour. And again, I put it in this all down position. And look at this gun. I mean, this gun is just to die for, especially if you're an enemy tank and you're in the way of it. I, I do love this tank. I mean, it is a really beautiful tank. As I said, it's not OP. It, it, it is balanced, I think, um, because if you don't put it in the right place, you're going to get smacked from everywhere. I mean, it's very difficult to bounce in this thing. You've got to play it properly, like a proper light tank. And, you know, whilst I'm not using the mobility at the moment, I will do in a, in a bit. And it's just fantastic. It really, really is fantastic. Now, I know there was a lot of ooming and ahhing with the recent Tech Tree editions, namely the two missile tanks, but you know what? Credit where credit is due, War Gaming got this completely correct. I mean, this is a beautiful tank. And when we get to the other two, you'll also see that my enthusiasm for those tanks does not diminish. I mean, this has got everything for a light tank player and if you love your lights and you love your mediums that are nippy you are gonna love this i mean i just can't get over how great that gun is how great the mobility is how super fantastic for a light tank this really really is okay it's got no um, armor and yeah i'm gonna brawl here a little bit with an is2 so you'll have to forgive me a little bit because I, I purposely intended to brawl here this was a game i played on live stream and i told them i was going to play it a, a bit more aggressive than the last game hence the brawl with an is2 but look at this and the other thing i do love these new additions on the graphics what with the you know with with, with the penetration marks the bounce marks and the track marks i mean it's it's just I think this is a beautiful update. This this tank, this tree, these additions are fantastic. Uh, you know, I've only done 2,184 damage here. Took a base, held the line up front in personal, being close on the damage count. Even broad with an IS-2 came off the better. Look at this for a shot. Oh my god, I mean, that is how accurate this gun is. And then we got, it's got a three second aim time. <laughs> I mean, with a three second aim time, it's still super duper accurate. And you can really throw this thing around the battlefield. I mean, it's no slouch. This thing does not like sitting at the back. It likes running around like a crazy fool. And, and a lot of games, which you're not going to see, I managed to get myself into a load of trouble drop the adrenaline and get myself out of a load of trouble, reflank and put shots all the way through the back. So as you can see, we did less damage there, but 2,405, we get a first class and it's really nice. Now this is my friend and subscriber, XX420 Sarah 420XX of the clan Punex, rolling out in her spanking brand new FV301 here on Desert Sands. Now, as I've said up until this point, this is a fantastic tank. I mean, it's got so much going for it, especially this gun. I mean, look at this for a shot. Oh, that's across the map. Okay, he's in a silly position. But that's not the point. I mean, she's going to do it again if she gets the gun down. There you go. Not even over the sights. Not even sniping. <laughs> it is a beautiful tank. And seriously, guys, I mean, if, if you've got the XP then this really is a tank you should be looking at getting. So where does this sit in the tech tree? Well, this sits, it just comes off the comet line just before the Saint 1. So if you look at the uh, British tech tree there, you'll see it just after the tier 7 comet and just before the Saint 1. And if you've got the XP to get this tank, even if you haven't got the XP to get all the modules at this stage, get it. Why? Because I think this is a must-have in your garage. I am not, as I said, a fantastic lights player, but what I do love about this tank, the ability to put a massive smile on my face. Now, I know there's been a lot of disappointment and a lot of consternation over the previous tech tree lines, namely the missile tanks, and a lot of people have been slightly miffed at that. This, this is reignited my faith in the game. Because it was getting to the point where it was like, I uh, don't know what to play, that tank's boring, this tank's boring, blah, 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 blah. These really do shine a light. I mean, it they are fantastic. 
they are, for me, a much welcomed addition to the game. And they have certainly reignited the fun factor for me. I mean, I loved rolling out in these tanks. These are not tanks that I will roll out in only once or twice, get a mastery and never see the light of day again. You know, heaven forbid, I hope they're not going to be nerfed. They don't. I don't personally think they need to be nerfed. I think they're balanced. If they're not nerfed, brilliant. I will roll out with them a lot because they are so much fun. And I'm sure if you ask Sarah, who's driving this one, she will say the same. They're so much fun. As I said, I wouldn't say they are 100% noob friendly like some of the premium tanks that you can get, etc, etc. But with a bit of time in practice, you can. They're a lot more noob friendly than, like I said, the VK28 and or the LTTB. These are not YOLO wagons in that respect. They have more finesse. They are more refined. And they are absolutely beautiful. And guys, I really do implore you, save your money. Don't buy that stupid premium that's in the shop at the moment. Get this. Get this, enrich it, and, you know, put the top modules on it, whatever, for that gold. It's going to cost you about, what, 2,000 gold? Do that instead. That is a great game from Sarah. Dominating the battlefield, showing the tank for what it can do. Fantastic mastery, 3,600 damage. Not a lot of credits. It is a big credit eater rather than earner but it's a fantastic game and i'd like to thank sarah for kindly sharing that replay because try as i made yesterday on the asian server i just couldn't get it anyway that has been the fb301 i've been fujit by all means comment everything below if you haven't yet pressed subscribe please do so it's a beautiful thing to do puts a smile on my face makes both me and potentially you happy if you got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or post them to my Discord server. A big shout out to all my subscribers, who without you, there's no point in me doing videos, and my Patreons, who without you, videos like this would be a lot harder to do. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.